Hey folks, it's Ferdy here. I'm preparing to do the load-bearing 40-miler SAS endurance route in the Brecon Beacons in a few days' time. It's a solo recce of the entire actual uh, route. Uh, the route is part of UK Special Forces selection. UKSF candidates who make it to the end of the aptitude phase do this self-navigator tab at the end of test week. It's a brutal test of endurance. I have done the route once before uh, as part of the guided event with a civvy uh, events company TSFE. A link will be in the description. I'm not sponsored by TSFE but I have been a keen participant of loads of their uh, events and courses including the September 22 guided full endurance edition uh, where I ended up being one of, of only three finishers. The event I'm doing in September will also be with TSFE, but I've since completed a land navigation course, which qualifies me for the self-nav option. Uh, so I'll be navigating with uh, Map and Compass, uh, which is obviously closer to the actual endurance experience. I'm aiming to complete within 24 hours, which is what I did last time, whereas actual uh, UKSF cutoff is somewhere between 20 and 22 hours, depending on the conditions. Or so I'm told, I have zero SF experience myself. I'm just the guy who loves uh, physical challenges. What is the SAS Endurance March? Widely referred to as the long drag, it's a significant challenging part of UKSF selection undertaken by SAS and SBS candidates, UKSF signals and Pathfinder platoon selection for the parachute regiment also undertake uh, the endurance 40 miler. Candidates are required to carry a full Bergen or backpack weighing upwards of 55 pounds or which is about 25 kilo, excluding food and water and navigate over a course covering approximately uh, 40 miles or 64 kilometers. When I did it last time, it ended up being 68 kilometers. Uh, the route is not disclosed to participants beforehand. They must navigate between checkpoints using only a map and compass in all weather conditions, both day and night. It tests not only the physical stamina of the candidates, but also their ability to make decisions while under extreme fatigue and pressure. It's a high attrition event, which requires an extreme level of determination, self-discipline and motivation. Further tests include jungle warfare, weapons handling, survival and resistance to interrogation, among other uh, competencies. But in this video, we're gonna focus on the endurance 40 miler. The exact details of the march are not publicly disclosed, if you're here looking for the exact details of the actual route and grid references, then I must disappoint you. I don't want to get in trouble. Brecon has been used as a place to train infantry soldiers since before the Second World War, when Infantry Battle School Brecon was founded. First SAS was founded in World War II, which then became 2-1 SAS in 47, a, a TA a regiment, Territorial Army, a reserve regiment, and then 2-2 SAS regiment was founded in 1952. The selection process has always been shrouded in secrecy. By early 60s, the Hills phase had evolved. We know this from Charlie Beckwith, who was an American exchange officer who served with 2-2 SAS, and he did Hills phase, which he later described in a book called Delta Force, the Army's elite counter-terrorism unit, in which he described his time in 2-2 SAS. So we know from that that there was a 40 miler even in the early 60s. Uh, he then, Charlie, uh, Charles Beckwith became the founder of Combat Applications Group, also known as Delta Force, and that also has a 40 miler at the end. So the UKSF 40 miler endurance route march through the Brecon Beacons is likely to have been around for 60 years. Right, so I'm about to set off to Wales. 52 pounds that is, of which about 15 is, uh, is my water. Just got some fresh snacks from the bakery. Any plans for the weekend? Yeah, I'm just going to drive from London to the Brecon Beacons, which is about four to five hour drive. Do the full distance endurance route march, uh, 40 miles or five kilometers and then uh, drive back to London in time for work on Monday. What about you? <laughs>
All right, guys, I'm really uh, buzzing right now. Back to drive to Wales. We'll get it done. See you in the hills.